internet. Welcome to the Prototype Toronto League, uh, League Season 10, Top 8 Cut. And boy, do we have a match here for you today. I'm Aaron P, and I'm here with... Alan Fung. How's it going? Uh, that's the denim cool king of X-Wing here with me today. And we're looking at turn zero for a very special format that we've come up with in the last little while. We use it both in league matches and small tournaments. I'll get into the thing about the small tournaments later on. But it's called Mercenaries, or Mercs for short. What happens is each player brings 77 points of a rebel or an imperial list, and then they randomly get assigned one ship of a list of 20 janky scum ships. So Aaron, this is on top of the normal PTL rules, right? So for newer listeners, you want to just briefly explain with your... I know you're not uh, in the best shape right now because you're recovering from us a cold, but want to go yeah. over that really quickly? So in the Toronto Prototype Toronto League, uh, you play seven matches in seven weeks. Uh, in the regular season. During that time, you cannot repeat any name pilots and you cannot repeat any exact lists. Yeah, so it's kind of a self-balancing thing. If you're doing really well, then you can kind of, uh, during this regular season, you can hold on to some of your, you know, your better pilots, uh, whether or not, you know, you fly them a lot or they're just good in the meta and uh, you can save them for the playoffs. Whereas if you're doing poorly, you can bust out, you know, those Kylos, those, uh, what else is meta right now? Those Poes and stuff. So it looks like here in the quarterfinals, Tim Ralphs doesn't hasn't flown Whisper, Cavill, or Riyadh apparently. Um, Indeed. So he's busting those out. We've got his opponent here, Tony. Uh, last name I don't know. What is Heron. it? Heron. Heron. Uh, flying Nora. Kind of regen. No C three PO though. Nope. Uh, Wolf Oro. I'm gonna have problems pronouncing that and a ruthless freelancer as the mercenary that he was given yeah so he rolled that one up yeah uh, out of a list of 20 and likewise tim rolled cavill up out of that list of 20 um so right off the bat who do you think who uh, who do you think got the better merc uh i think tim did uh but that ruthless freelancer is not to be underestimated that is another three attack dice uh on the table for him and it barrel rolls which is kind of handy yeah um, it's a shame it didn't have an ion cannon. You can't put a cannon on a uh, Mist Hunter. Oh, can you not? Oh, well, that's uh, only the right. tractor beam yeah, 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 can go yeah. on, on, on the Mist Hunter. Well, that probably won't won't really matter for Riyadh with the X7. Indeed. Yeah. Doubtful that the Freelancer would catch Whisper and Arc, and even if he did, that's four defensive dice. So Tony's best bet here might be to chase Cavill with a Freelancer, kind of boost it, barrel it onto rocks or into range of other stuff. Well, I guess it shoots last, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what are your thoughts on Dead Eye Sync Turret? It's a kooky build. Yeah. Uh, it's a very slim Cavill. You can't build a better one. So the mercenary list is list of mercenaries is limited to ships 30 points and under. Yeah. So you, there aren't any great builds of the, your, your familiar ships there. If you get one of your familiar ships, it's going to be a kind of janky build like this one. Um, it's Cavill with dead eye, so he can fire his sink turret. Um, instead of using a target lock, he uses the focus. Uh, he's got overclocked R4, so every time he spends a focus, he can take a stress to not spend the focus, to retain it. Um, I actually love that build. That thing is going to just straight up deal... Four damage out of arc to this freelancer. Well, if he's in arc, he gets the rerolls because of the sync turret. If he's out of arc, he gets four dice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it hits decently either way. I, don't I know. mean, he's got a lot of work to do here. Um, yeah, this is gonna be tough. This is this is gonna come down to I think target priority. If Tim Tim is activating his callus and he is going to callus Nora. Nora. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's probably right. Nora. Yeah, it seems to be on Nora. Yeah, that's probably right. Tim also has initiative. Tim has taken the initiative. I'm not sure what I think about that. Um, doesn't really matter. I mean, there are two sevens over there on Tony's side, but neither of them repositioned. So I guess it doesn't matter much at all. There are no repositioning abilities on Wolf or Nora, and I think that's going to be huge. I think the only thing that would have made a difference is the information that Tony has when he decides which. Uh, which side to reinforce? Good point. If he had, if he, if Tim has the initiative, then Tony should be able to reinforce against Cavill every time. 
mm -hmm. you'd think, but who knows? So here I think the obvious strategy for either of them is to go for the low-hanging fruit and take out that Merc before anything else happens. On both sides, you're saying? Yeah. Um, if I'm Tony, I'm worried about that Whisper. Oh, absolutely. But he's got to get to Whisper. Whisper has a hard time dodging arcs, though. Like a Wolf, a Wolf Waru uh, arc, at least. Yeah, and she'll have to stay in range 3 for that. Yeah, and then Nora versus Count... I'm not really sure who wins there. Tony would have the advantage on points, it looks like, but I would imagine Nora would eventually go down. R2-D2, though. That's a droid, right? Nian Num. Why Nian Num? He's That's one point. Oh. And he can clear stress with greens. All his straights are green. Yeah, I get that, but he doesn't have PTL, so I was curious. No, that's true. So it's just thrown in there for a point. Yeah. Maybe he plans to plunge through those debris. Yeah, maybe. What, what do you think of Tim? So, you're the guy who made Commonwealth Defenders famous. Uh, what do you think of Tim's placement of Riot here? Is it a good starting position for uh, a defender? I think so. Apply pressure. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really... She's not... She's never at risk of exploding. So, I mean, very worst case scenario. Everything points towards her. She runs away. Whisper and Cavill come from behind. I think Tim is has realized that he can't afford, or he doesn't want to lose Cavill right off the bat. I think yes. that would kind of put a lot of pressure on Whisper to do a lot of work, and if she gets caught, you know, she might just explode. Whereas you can put Riyadh in harm's way, especially with the Lone Wolf. She's just so tanky. Um, just there's the, nothing the tankier than that. Fullest mods you could possibly ask for, short of Glitter Stim, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I also really like the paint job on that, on that uh, Phantom. Yeah, Eric Z did that apparently oh, for okay. Tim. Not surprised. Not surprised. Okay, Timmy's measuring arc for a ship that can't shoot. Um, Wolf's gone wide. This surprises me. I thought he was going to stick with the other two. Um, I think that's kind of the formation you want because he also has Lone Wolf. Right. So he can trade to a degree with Riyadh off the bat, but once Riyadh K turns, Wolfaru is just going to start taking tons of damage. I do think he wants a slow roll. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Nora and the Freelancer are hard to in the next turn. Because um, I, I imagine that he, he realizes that, that weakness with the, uh, the Oztuck. Well, once Wolf loses three shields, of course, he begins throwing an extra red die. Yeah, that's true, but that's also not going to help you if you just don't have an arc. So No. <laughs> um, and he's got that Finn Lone Wolf combination, which is going to allow him to oh, yeah. add an extra blank. That's and what I mean. re roll it with Lone Wolf. So he could be throwing five dice. Yeah, that's what I mean. Once that he loses that Whisper could very well pop. So I think Tony's got the right strategy in mind here by going wide not just gunning right after uh, Whisper yeah. but he does need to protect his Wolferu because as good as Arija Nora is her output isn't great when stuff is chasing her especially if it's a Whisper yeah once if she loses arc every second round her mighty attack dice don't no. add up to that much yeah exactly um, crits are scary though I mean if Whisper loses shields even one crit coming out of Nora's butt uh, could mean disaster. Totally. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious as to what Countess is going to do next turn. I wonder if this is a bait, if he's going to come back towards his board edge, or if he's going to commit and do the, a three bank or something that up. Because if he does that and Tony comes down with a hard two right, um, we might see some action pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. I think that Tim has to get the action started. He's got so much hull to work through. He's got a regen Nora. So he needs to start getting somewhere. What's happening here? Um, oh, advanced sensors barrel roll. That's an advanced sensors? Yeah, it's got advanced sensors, outlaw tech, black market slicer tools, and a tractor beam. Huh. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything and nothing well. Uh, 
Okay, so he's advanced censoring, so he gets the focus off this. That's not bad. Yep. I guess you can do the the K-turn or whatever it has. Is it Segner or is it K-turn on those things? K-turn. K-turn? Yeah, so I guess three you and four, I Advanced sensor target lock or barrel roll. Do the K-turn, get your focus. So that's, that's pretty fun, I guess. Yep. I just wish it was not a PS3, but... Um, yeah, let's see what Riot did. Uh, okay, so she hasn't fully committed. That's good. He didn't go for the three bang. So if he really wants to, he can bear a roll out if he feels like this is not a place he wants to be. He's probably contemplating that right now. I wouldn't be surprised if he barrel rolls back towards his board edge right here. Right here. I think that would be the cautious play. Towards the center of the board? Or no, you? back towards his own okay. board edge. Barrel roll back. I think this is what Tim wants. I think he wants... Uh, to see Tony committing his ships to Riot. Uh, yes, but it will take Cavill some time to catch up. Yeah, Cavill is really wide there. Because Cavill doesn't have the unhinged, so it's going to take him a while. Oh, he's committing. You it. That Wolfrue is going to come in hot, hot right now, I think. I'm expecting a one straight from Wolfrue, actually. Bank some more array tokens. True. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Yeah. Really non-committal move with Cavill. Cavill's going to take a decade and a half to get back. And that may be okay by Tim. I think it's okay by Tony, too. Absolutely by Tony. Uh, so Whisper, it looks like, didn't decloak. We forgot to mention that. Yeah. He forgot to decloak. That's fine. We got a loose dial here, but... Those ARC-170 dials are so sloppy. Yeah, most of the new ones. Just give it to him, Tim. It's not like it matters. And Nora so, turns in towards Riot as well. So, for some of the viewers who aren't part of the PTL, what can you tell them about our players here? So, Tim Ralphs uh, is famous roundabout. He's done well uh, in system opens, regionals all over the place. Uh, he usually flies double big ships. He's hands down the worst ghost player I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> it's just, it's yeah. embarrassing really. Yeah, he's, he's just terrible. Yeah, so he flew double ghosts and terrorized everyone with that for a while. Oh my god, I, I do not miss that list. He whooped me many times with that. <laughs> So now he's whooping people with his, uh, what he calls Mean Girls, which is um, two Lancer Pursuit Crafts. Um, but it looks like he's opting for kind of aces, kind of, well, definitely small ships. So this is, this is for Tim, this is something new. So, you know, we, we have to cut him some slack if he forgets to decloak, whether or not that was intentional. Um, and good for him for trying something new. Um, mm -hmm. Especially Whisper. Whisper, I mean, nowadays, someone pops down a Poe, you're just toast. So That's a tough place for Whisper to be. I don't like the decloaks. If I were him, I would barrel roll back to the left. Uh, his left. Yeah, his left. Uh, Whisper's left. Um, yeah, that's a weird spot. Then he can decloak right, and he can decloak left. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. I think that's a bit too far forward still. Yeah, I would have gone backwards just so he can go back right and then two straight if he had to, just to shoot from behind the rock, something like that. But if he's coming at Nora from behind, but at an off angle such that he is out of her arc, yeah, um, that's beautiful. And Whisper will do many, many damage before yeah. uh, Tony can deal with that. This is this is interesting. Cavill looks like whether or not by design he's he's going to be a closer in Tim's list here. Yeah. Ass assuming that Whisper goes down, which she very well might not. But So Tony uh, plays regularly at Game Schooled in Scarborough. He's been playing X-Wing for about a year. He's played uh, in the league a couple of times now. Um, and this is his first time on stream as far as I know. Oh, congrats, Tony. And... Uh, He's, he's like me. Uh, he, he's got some issues where he doesn't like to, which make it difficult for him to do a full six round tournament with the next day. So he, he quite enjoys playing the league because he can get some nice competitive games in without having to commit to really long days. Can I just give a really big shout out to the guys at Game School? Like, not only that little community there, but Dan in particular. Uh, they've been really good at, you know, even though a bit late to the PTL. Uh, additions. They they have a really strong community. Uh, it sounds like they have good Props turnouts. Yeah, and um, 
especially pro big props to Tony, who's made it all the way to uh, the quarterfinals in PTL. And it, it looks like he knows what he's doing, for sure. Um, oh, absolutely. I think this is this uh, Wolf-Nora combination is one of his favorites, and I think he plays oh, yeah? it in different lists. Oh, okay. So, you know, he, he's not brought... Uh, <laughs> He's brought some serious guns to this fight. Right. No, but I respect it. I, res I definitely respect the creativity, and you can tell just from his positioning and kind of the semi feign opening that uh, he knows what he's doing. Um, yeah, I am curious to see what each player does because they both have Lone Wolf on the board. For Tony especially, you really want that Lone Wolf to pay off because you also put in five points on Finn. So if you don't have Lone Wolf, you don't have Finn. So that's seven points. That's a seven point upgrade basically negated. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Oztuck goes a bit harder and then the guys in the back kind of do a one bank or something like that. Um, Agreed. Interesting situation though for Riyadh because she can't quite do a five. Maybe she can do a five barrel roll t towards the center for the K turn on the next round. I think that would give her good positioning, but if she turns left towards a corner, she might be in a bit of a trap there. Um, well, there's no way she could take all this fire without yep. Lone Wolf and two tokens active. Yep, yep. So she, whatever she, she does has to be a fast maneuver, uh, and Whisper has to stay far enough away yep. such that they don't turn that off. And it looks like Tim is only gonna get those two guns in this round. Yeah. I think uh, Cavill needs to start hauling ass to get back in there, but I mean, this this could be Tim's plan as well, right? Like, get Riyadh in there, because that's a really common thing with defenders. You know, go ahead, take two, three shields off me. I'm going to K-turn. I'm going to have full stack. You're not going to have arcs on me anymore. Well, except that uh, Nora and Wolf can both still get arcs on her pretty easily. Hard. I mean, defenders are really, really good at out-positioning. Um, or Ossex in general, but yeah, I know what you're saying. He he can't afford, I think, to lose Riyad outright. Not even in a trade for the freelancer. Ideally, he wants to, you know, bring yeah. Wolf down to the point where Whisper can just finish him off, but yeah, so this is the slow that we expected. Yep. This is a really nice, I really like this, like this play by Tony. He's, I think he's realizing that he has a lot of obstacles here that he can play with. Fairly dense as short field, not the densest, but, um, ooh, interesting. I guess he's going to bring Nora in with the two bank? Could be set up a wider net. Now, unfortunately, that means that the Ruthless Freelancer doesn't have a token for a shot. Wow, okay. Yeah. Tim's decided his best option is just to tank, try to tank it all. Well, he's considering a barrel roll. I think he needs to, yeah, he needs to focus there. I'm kind of surprised he by that barrel roll. He forgot to do cloak with Whisper again. Oh, no. That's what he forgot. Oh, he's, oh, oh so Tony's letting Tony him. Tony is graciously allowing him to do yeah. That's the PTL spirit. Indeed. Now, when I say PTL spirit, keep in mind, if I was playing against Aaron, I would not let him do cloak. <laughs> um... Well, okay, but I've played Whisper. So a there's whole lot, two so. kinds of PTL spirit. There's, <laughs> there's what I get and what the rest of you yeah. share. Like 90% of it is, you know, cordial and very gentlemanlike. <laughs> the, the remaining 10% is pure trolls and chirping. So. So no okay. lock for Cavill. Cavill's slowly making his way back in. Um. Okay, Wolfer. Did he get the block on Wolf? Did Wolf go for the? No, he didn't. He was one for two. Ah. See, I'm kind of surprised by that barrel roll from the freelancer. Yeah. Because now he's trading for... I guess he doesn't mind if he takes damage. The really interesting bit is what happens next turn, right? Like, when he 5Ks, is Tony going to be able to somehow prevent that? Mm-hmm. That's still a bit more heat than Count Countess would like. She, she's Absolutely. at risk of losing, you know, three shields off the bat, which is acceptable, but you don't want. So, if you're Tim, who do you shoot? Um, the freelancer, for sure. Hmm. 
Oh, this is interesting. It's not a great place for decloaks. No, but if he barrels, he might have a shot on Wolfuru. He doesn't really want it, I think. But doesn't want to get the party started with a target lock and uh, get his cloak and focus back. He'd rather have Nora, and he might have Nora from where he where he is. I don't think so. But yeah, the barrel roll is, is going to help with the decloak. Yeah. So now he's got decloaks forward in the next round, and he's got decloaks Ooh. left. You better hope he has a shot. It's he's got a shot at Wolf for sure. Yeah. Okay. He's put the debris between himself and Nora. That's fine because he can always Nora's sling, not shooting. He can anyway. sling back to the right. Yeah. That's not an issue. It would be a mistake for Tony to shoot at Whisper at this point. This is a tad jousty for Whisper. Mm -hmm. Against a 180 arc. Well, that's the trouble. He, he's got to deal with these extra arcs on the uh, Ozatuck and the arc 170. Yeah, so he's got the range there. So he'll take that shot because he has to in order yeah. to get his cloak. So Tony Rays realizes yep. he doesn't have Lone Wolf, which is fine. Riot's not going to have Lone Wolf either. Uh, no. Which is bad. It's close, I think. Ooh. So Whisper rolls one hit. One reinforce. No big deal. Gets her cloak and her target lock. Don't forget your cloak and your target lock, Tim. Is he really going to roll? I guess so. Cause, oh, he's considering whether or not he wants to take the damage, I guess? He doesn't. No, he You're has right. to reinforce, though. He has to. Does he? Yes, he has to. And the cloak, Tim. And the cloak. That's okay. I'm sure Tony will let him. Again, yeah, if you're watching, like, we have to cut some, some slack. Like, I guarantee you, he hasn't played Whisper more than two times in his life, so. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, he didn't forget. They seem to be having a conversation about something. Probably about whether or not he can take the shield, and Tim is probably explaining to Tony that he has to. Because this issue came up uh, when we were in Philadelphia, and Stephen Moss is flying uh, Grelin, mm -hmm. uh, Stress Grelin, to counter the expertise uh, rookies. Yes. And they have to reinforce against it. Okay, there you go. So he has, it looks like he has to spend the focus and evade right off the bat. He's going to check for Lone Wolf. He doesn't have it. Nope. Spend all the tokens. There's nothing to lose. He's got to spend them both. You know, he might hold on to that evade just to make sure to draw, dodge the tractor beam. The tractor beam comes last, though. It does. Actually, if I'm Tony, I don't even use the tractor beam. I just throw a primary. Same. Out. Same. And that's a range three shot. So that's like good it. news for Ayad. So Ryad's down one shield. No focus though. No lone wolf. This is where the pain train comes. Yep. This is this was the issue with the fenders before the X7 nerf. Is that? Oh, oh. That's big. That's unfortunate. I would spend the target lock. This is your opportunity, I think. Yeah. yeah. The math wow. here is better to spend the target. Tony's lock. making all the right calls. You got to give him props. Oh, absolutely. Um. Ooh. That's about Two. the same. That's what. That's what he would have gotten. We've got one of Abe visible, and we can't see the other one. Can't tell what it is. It looks like he has to spend it. Okay, so no damage there. Riot is down one shield and has to deal with return fire from the Ruthless Freelancer. That's not the worst. I really no, wish not. the Freelancer had a focus, though. Yep, me too. It's a range two to the Freelancer. Yeah, that's right call, Timmy. And he just rolls one. one. Rolling one. Yeah, takes freelancer one. takes it. Okay, so Tim's hoping here that Tony rolls normal and not something crazy. But this is this can be Tony's whole strategy for the game. Keep arcs on target. Look for spikes in his dice. He's tanky. Yeah. Over time, he's gonna whittle stuff down. Oh, that poor Cavill, though. Yeah, I think Cavill banks three next turn. Might eat the rock, but... Okay, okay we yeah. Get nothing that's what he wants to see. He would have been safe anyway. 
And that's all, folks. Okay. Tim's laughing about the Natty Evades. Yeah. So, we are back to where we are. So, I think he's banking that focus. He's up to two. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So, I think this is going to be a weird turn. Whisper is in a not-so-great place. Now, he that barrel roll did give him uh, different choices for the decloak, which is all important. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Wolf is going to be able to move forward one and keep Whisper in arc almost no matter where she goes. Nora can bank one, I think maybe bank two, around that debris and get Whisper in arc. Maybe just the one straight from Nora, actually. And then the Freelancer can also bank one. And that should be three arcs on Whisper. It's just such a shame that we don't get to see Finn at play here. I was really looking forward to... <laughs> Big Fistfuls? Yeah, basically Red. like a 180 Whisper arc. Um, but it's okay. I think, I think he's happy with his formation. I think Finn aside, Finn and Lone Wolf aside, his position is good. Yeah, that, Tony's? Oh, yeah, it's great. That 5K is about to put some serious heat on his list, though. Yes. Because Tony might not have an option, right? Like, he doesn't really want to, you know, hard two or whatever the, the freelancer in for the block, so... I think here, the best Tony's best move is to go for Whisper. If he can get Whisper now... I think so, too. I mean, then he's got the game well in hand. You know what? He might be okay with a 5K from Riyadh if he does a one ban, because... Ooh, actually, Tony can just advance sensor barrel roll one straight hmm. with the Freelancer. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting. Would that block the five? I think it would. I, I don't think he has enough to capitalize on it. I think it falls short of the five. I think he'd have to advance sensor barrel roll as far back as possible and bank one um, toward the hard edge. Yeah, maybe. It might be worth but, it. No, I, I don't think it is because Wolfru won't be able to have arc. Nora has to commit towards that corner just for a shot. And if he gambles wrong, that is bad. Um, I would love to see this Wolfru just start peeling away, though. Like... I would do that barrel roll one straight for the block if Wolfaru just did a four straight or something just to get out there and start wrapping around with a lone wolf. And if Nora just did a one straight or something, assuming she doesn't clip that debris. Interesting situation. Yeah, so Tony's, <laughs> I think Tony's very aware so that uh, the 5K is him. coming. Yeah. Is Tim going to remember the decloak? Looks like he is. So, now if I were flying this Whisper, I might actually just get her out at this point. Uh, and the only way I could see to do that is to decloak right and then do a fast move. Like a three bank up? something along those lines. I don't think a three-bag would avoid that rock. Alternately, he could hard two just straight north up the board. So decloak right, hard two up the board. That's risky, though, because if that wolf does a one bank, he'll have a long-range shot on her. Okay, so no shenanigans. Nope, Tony's just going for it. He's going for Whisper, it looks like. And <laughs> Tim says, last time, I promise. Because yeah. it sounds like, yeah, it sounds like he forgot his defoke again. Tony Tony's might. Tony's hesitating. Oh, boy. Tony's debating it. All right. It's, seems like this will be the last time indeed. Sorry, it's right, Oh, shoot. He can't defoke forward. Oh, boy. He's in trouble. Well, we'll see. He may be doing the thing where he four straights, rams into Wolf, and then takes a shot on the uh, Freelancer. That is so risky, though. I, I, it's I totally risky. It's what I'd do, but it's totally risky. Internet, just ignore this man. 
they barrel actually roll. do. Again, I don't know about these barrel rolls. You need your focuses, but you might have something in mind here. It's conceivable that Riot is doing a 3K. Or even, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Did he call it? Did he make Alan look like, like an idiot? No, no it's a five. Aha, vindicated. <laughs> Um, he's letting him do the backward. Oh, I see. Knock his barrel roll. Knock his barrel roll. He said that he meant to barrel backwards. Oh, oh. Oh, interesting. There's some more sportsmanship going on back and forth yeah. here. I'm, I'm Tony's sure. saying he meant to barrel roll. Backward instead of forward. Yep, that makes sense. It's not Vassal. And whoop, he's rethinking that focus token. I think it's safe to take it unless he wants to go for the target lock, but that might be a bit greedy. Yeah. Wolf can't get him. No, but if Nora, if if Tony was hoping for a block with that move, and Nora comes down swinging, uh, yep, that's the right move there, Timmy. He's gonna uh, grab a lock on Nora for later. Yep. It's gonna be a big round for Whisper. It is. I think so. Well, we'll soon see. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think you should have done the advanced sensor. Maybe you forgot he had advanced sensor. Because, again, he didn't choose this ship. Has there an arc, but only one arc on a token, most likely lone wolf ship. Interesting. Yeah, I think that might have been an example of trying to do too many things with one ship. It's also possible he's used to Nora with a barrel roll. Oh, he also doesn't have a lock. Ooh, that's bad. He might as well grab the lock on Rian. Oh, might think. as well. Yep. Yeah. He has. Whether or not he chooses to shoot her, I think that's the right call. Would have gotten Wolf. Two straight. This is very exciting. I did not expect these moves. And that's hopefully what Tony's trying to do here. Give Whisper no free ride. Um, but I think whatever happens here, Whisper is either overshooting or running directly into Wolf. She's callous Nora, so... That's a good point. Uh, and Nora's got a lock on the other ship, so... This is... He just did the straight. It's a bump, it looks like. Yeah. I think Sam is okay with this. Oh, yeah. He might not even be shot at by Nora. Yeah. Uh, and he can... It'll be close. The only problem Whisper has in this, in this particular uh, round shooting is that she doesn't have a token, which she'd like to shoot that freelancer with. But she very well will have... Oh, she have might have a... Nora. Yeah, but the thing is... The main thing is that... Oh, yeah, I guess. Did the Tony reinforce that... the four? Yeah, he did. Just bump the ships around, Tim. That's fine. I think Tim's fine, because he's going to get the cloak and the focus, assuming he doesn't whip here. And then he also has Callus. Yeah, Whisper's fine. This yeah. is not a bad round for Whisper. Yeah. This um, is good for Tim. Looks like range two to me. Yeah, that's range two, folks. No, oh, Victor seems to be on it. Um, so the game's going to get more tricky for Tony from here. There's definitely a missed opportunity in this situation. 
I'm not sure if Tim planned to bump or just was planning to accept that bump. I don't happened. think he, I don't think he was planning because he did he wanted to do the decloak. So he's got two damage. Two that's enough to deal damage, so she gets a focus. Yep. Oh, never yep. mind. It's One damage on the ruthless freelancer. Uh, can you imagine if that ruthless freelancer had a focus open? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it would actually be scary to whisper. I'm sorry, Tony. I'm just busting your balls. I'm just being a jerk. Oh, my lord. Look at that. Range 3 primary shot for the Y-Wing. Also... Through the debris. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that had range. So he has Riyadh at range 2. Okay. And that's where his lock is. Yeah. If you have a shot of Whisper, I think you still go for it here, though. With Nora? Yeah. What's the point of What's the point of shooting at a tokened up Riyadh right now? Take her focus token away. Eh. Okay. Yeah. I guess. What do I know? <laughs> I don't know what you know. <laughs> it's gonna be three. Yep. It's fine. Unless Tim blanks out, he's, he's golden. Oh, he also has Lone Wolf, too. Jesus. Oh, no, he does blank it. So it deals one. So he spends a focus, like you said. Spend the focus. And the evade. He didn't Lone Wolf? He did Lone Wolf. Oh, okay. And he got the eyeball. He got the eyeball, yes. And he spent the evade, so he took one. Okay, Tim, stick this. Ooh. Big one. Well, we're here for a long time, folks. Uh. Uh. One more damage. <laughs> I don't. Freelancer. So it's just the freelancer shot. Who won that engagement? Um, I think Tim did. He escaped a death trap for a whisper. Ryad lost the shield. Oh. Okay, wow. And that's just fine. Um, okay. Alright, Wolfram is going to do a three bang. Yep. I... I wouldn't be surprised if, uh... Does that miss under have a... Uh, a 3k or a 2k? 3 and 4. 3 and 4. Does a 3 fit there? No. So it needs to barrel roll before it does the it's k. It's tight. It's tight. A 3 might fit. Nah. You don't think so, huh? 5 bucks says it will. You really don't think uh, four base lengths? Base I'm lengths. looking to make five bucks easy here, so you want to take this bet or not? <laughs> you, really don't, you really don't see that? So one, right? Two? It's Alan close. Fung is, is measuring the screen with his fingers, folks. It's close. <laughs> nah, it's not close. You're forgetting the ship itself's distance. He's going to have to barrel roll to do that. Okay? No, that's why I said four ship, four ship, uh, ship lanes, right? Because three plus the ship uh, the base. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So four. Yeah. But yeah, no, four, four won't fit. Four won't fit. Neither will the three. He's going to have to barrel roll to do either. I think. No, no, no. I'm saying four, sh four ship lengths. Five bucks? No, I'm agreeing with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not saying whether or not a three or four would fit. I'm saying four sh four base lengths is a 3K. So I'm missing my opportunity to make great, great profit here. <laughs> you're missing my point is what you're missing. Yeah, most likely. Uh... <laughs> All right, Whisper, what have we got? Do you dare do a two D cloak into a K turn? It's so tempting the situation. You have you would have incredible positioning. Tim probably realizes. Oh, actually, you know what that. I know how that Miss Hunter can do a K-turn. No. 
barrel roll? Advanced sense of barrel roll, and then yeah. do the motherfucker case. Absolutely. Sorry. PG podcast. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and then do the case and get the red. I don't see why he would do that though, unless he's really expecting Tim to do a 4K. That'd be such a badass move if you did that, Tim. Please, please do the D cloak two forward. Because that would just give me more hope that you're doing the 4K. Please. Don't worry about Nora. You have Callus anyway. I think Cavill might actually be in this round. Oh, Cavill's in. So we've got three shields from a freelancer and two shields off Riad at the 40 minute mark. This is going to be a slug down to the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tim's damage output is about to pick up because so far he's had two range one shots, both have whiffed. Whisper hasn't contributed all that much so far, but she's about to because I, I think he's going to start sticking on one target. And then Cavill is coming up the butt. Granted, he won't have the additional die or the range for some time, but eventually he will. <laughs> eventually he'll return. <laughs> I mean, I wonder how much money the Imperials have paid this mercenary to have him show up and fly around the asteroids on the other side of the fight. Yeah, Tim's mercenary is definitely asking for a raise right now or something. <laughs> like, he's not playing little ball. labor dispute going on. Oh, absolutely. Um, all right. I don't know what Whisper does here. I admit the uh, K turn is tempting, but if Nora turns up forward, that is to her right, to her left, pardon me, to her left, um, then her butt arc could well be pointing in that direction. Yeah, but you're a callus. And you're cloaked. No, oh, you're, wait, not no cloaked. you're not You're not cloaked. You're not cloaked. I think so corrected. Two dice. But you're a badass. <laughs> Isn't that even better than being cloaked? Come on, guys. Yeah. Okay, what do you do with Riot? Um, I... Well, that's a toughie. Honestly, if I'm playing... Say if I just do two bank. Oh, but then if if Nora does like a hard turn or something like that, that Riyadh just gonna eat it. Yeah. And Wolfer could very well do a hard two, not worry about the debris on the next turn, that is. I don't even know if he will with the debris on the following turn, but. Yeah, I'm not sure what Riyadh does here. Because Riyadh moves after the Ruthless. That's, that's the other issue. Yes. Can't afford to really bump here with four health left. Well, what I think is unlikely from the Ruthless Freelancer is a uh, uh, bank to its left, because that doesn't point it anywhere useful. So Ryad could bank three to her left, land just in front of Nora, maybe block a move. But if Nora if Nora evades that block and Wolfaru does a too hard up... Oh, you're right. Um, I guess he'll, he'll still have his token stack, so he might be okay, but it still could spell trouble. You're right. Oh, whisper, whisper, please. Yeah. Do it, Tim. I can Don't feel it. it. No, well Here done, we Tim. Go. Well done. Here we You graduate we to... Go. Yes! He's doing it. He's just doing it. Tim, when you watch this, I'll have you know that... I'm super excited for this moment, and please don't disappoint me by doing like a one heart or something. <laughs> it's totally doing a one heart. <laughs> oh, Whoopsies. game's over. As someone who flew the silencer for a full weekend, Tony, I, I feel your pain there. Hey, look, it's a 3K. Is it a 3K? I mean, uh, it's a 3K. Be three straight. Yeah. It's not going to fit anyway because of Whisper. That's not terrible. He it isn't bad. Well, I mean, he could have been one. It's a similar effect in terms of blocking. One of us may have to go out and help those guys if their hands get real shaky. Uh, I'm sure they're fine. Robin's there as well. Is he? Okay. Good. Yeah. Robin's got hands of a surgeon. Oh my lord. So it was the 3k? <laughs> it's not a ship, okay? You can't, you can't blame him for forgetting advanced sensors. Oh wow, good call on that. On that. Yep. Okay, this is going to be a real cluster F. Yep. 
Good news for Tony is that Riyadh isn't going to be able to contribute offensively. No, but I think it's a good spot for later for, for Riyadh. I mean, oh, the temptation man. here is to barrel roll, but don't do it, Tim. Don't do it. I'm so excited for this case, Aaron, from Whisper. Do you think it's a three or a four? Four. Yeah, it's got to be a four. If it's a K, it's a four. If it's a hard one, Whisper is in trouble. Oh, man. That Merc has still not gotten his raise. He's, no, he's, he's like... He is on his way out. He's doing a four straight the next turn. Nora does a straight one. Oh, thank you. That's... I... I smelled no shots for Tony this round. Yep. Well, unless he did the hard two with with Wolf. Yeah. In which case, Wolf could shoot right. He could shoot at that guy who's running away. Nope. Three bank, as you called. Mm -hmm. Might have shots here on... Uh, yep. On the Y wing. On Cavill. Maybe. Ooh, it looks like he might... But Cavill will be... Full, be contacting him on the radio and be like, no, I'm not in this fight. I'm Tony's trying to figure out, yeah, it looks like Riyadh might have Ark on the back. I guess he doesn't care with Cavill because Sync Turret doesn't have range 3, right? Is that correct? Nope. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god. There you go, See? Alan. Huzzah! You just made my day. Oh, uh, tell me he's not in Ark. Gator. Oh no, is he in Ark? I think he's in Ark. I think that Nora turned a bit too much. Um, Nora doesn't have a lock on him. Nora's lock is on her, on Whisper, sorry. Is, was on Ryan. On, what am I saying? I guess, yeah, even if it didn't turn that much, it's still have her in her. So it's just three red dice. Okay, well, whatever. So here's Whisper. Tim with the target, target lock. lock. There you go. Four hits. And this time, the Freelancer does have a focus token. Doesn't matter. Takes three. So that brings the freelancer down to two health. Yep. Nothing else can shoot at it now, so it's not all that bad, but it can't turn around. So for your focus, Tim. I don't. Yep. Oh. Focus. He's going to forget it. Nope. No arc. So the three bang from Riad was clutch. Yeah, it was. Wolf gets a range three fin, unobstructed. Fin, 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 <laughs> fin, fin, fin. Yeah, he remembered. All right. Maybe Let's this will it. draw the Merc into battle. Or make him run away, I don't know. Okay, so he fin, can. Fin, fin, fin. Oh, he's fin. got the lone wolf. Exciting, exciting. <laughs> Cavill gets three hot hits coming to him from outer space. And rolls double of eight. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. The real MVP. It's like Riot has no arc. Okay. So? So Whisper's now in a great position. I agree. Nora might hard to to ship right and try to come in behind her that is shoot her, shoot whisper with her butt arc um, I think that's a dead freelancer either way I think Wolfaru does a two or three hard on the next turn it's probably going to eat quite a bit of damage from Cavill and Cantus combined the Nora versus Whisper battle might start soon. I think the play for Nora is to do a three bank to ship left. Nora? Yeah. Open up that arc. Yep. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Whisper's greens include two banks, three straight, two straight. Then again, Tim could very well just do two straight and have the access to the barrel roll. But that's that's the hard position that Nora, without a barrel roll of her own, is in the end game. She has difficulty going wide with her arcs on Whisper. Whisper can stay tight, she can just barrel roll in and out. Yeah. 
Enum does what again? All uh, all Nora's straights are green. Which, as you pointed out, doesn't really help in this build. I expect uh, Tony usually has something else there, but he slimmed her down for this match. Wouldn't it normally just be PTL? Because you have RGD2, me, and um, PTL. Yeah, but you don't end up stressing yourself when you use expertise. So if you come up against a stress list... Um, I guess, but to trigger RGD2, you want to do greens anyway. Yeah, that's true. So I suppose it's a small advantage there. And I believe it does give her four straights that are green. Not that she'll use it here. So how do you recover here if you're Tony? If you're a ruthless freelancer, what do you do? You show no fear. <laughs> um, hmm. You declare I'd, your contract over and fly home? I would... There's no way to block Riot. Riot's obvious 3k. Yeah, Riot's not dying. Ever. And if you uh, bank one and then try to like barrel roll or something, Riot will just match your barrel roll and shoot you in the face. I think if I'm the freelancer, I, I gun it with the fastest green straight I can, which could very well be a two. Which would be disappointing. They've got a three straight this green. They're okay. A little bit better than B. I would do the three. Yeah. I would honestly do the three, and then have Nora cover that arc, and then you know accept the fact that Whisper will probably kill him, but mm -hmm. you can at least probably get out of the arc of a of the Riyadh, and you can probably also cover cover a bit with Nora. That's what I would do. His options are pretty limited with that freelancer. It, like, if, if at four hull, that's one thing, because then he can evade. But like right now, I'm, it's just a matter of positioning. Oh, it's just a matter of positioning to help out his other ships before it explodes. I think if you're, I think if you're Wolf here, you do a hard turn around that debris to the left. Try to get more shots on Ryan. Isn't the three hard uh, white? Yep. Why do you have to go through to breathe then? Oh, in between you mean. Around, yeah. Yeah. And you keep the freelancer in a spot where it might get a shot on Ryad, assuming that 3k. Uh, Just focus. Evade. Oh, he's probably forgotten, but he could black market slicer to a whisper. Oh. Black Market Slicer Tool. Black Market Slicer Tool. It's not his Merc, though. That's a problem. That is a one thing with these with these Merc builds. I got a frickin' Constable Zuvio for my Merc. <laughs> Let me just tell you, it did nothing except explode. Luckily, you want to know what else fits into 77 points? What? Exactly four Imperial trainees. Nice. Which my opponent, Joe Silva... That's right, Joe. I'm calling you out. I'd never seen before. Didn't realize I had two Segners. And I managed to claw my way back. Didn't lose a single ship after Zubio died on the first pass. So let me get this straight. You heroically beat Joe with a ship he had never seen before and maneuvers he didn't know about. I'm still proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got Shirisu. Shirisu the... Uh... Is that like a kind of meat? In effect, that's the role she played. She was the uh, the sick. Oh, okay, yeah. Who allows her allies at range one to reroll a defense die. Uh huh. And I cleverly brought a really huge, expensive Upsilon shuttle um, and stuck her next to it and rerolled for it every time it got shot at by my opponent's five ships. Sure. Uh, and never once re-rolled into anything other than a blank. Well, I'm sure it was only three dice that you ended up re-rolling. Yeah, that sucks. All right, Cal's in. He's in that, the game. All it took was, you know, that, that grazing damage Five to, rounds. to really piss him off. He's like, all right, that's it. I mean, he doesn't look all that committed to me. I mean, he's like, maybe I'll fly over there next round. Well, he doesn't want arc, right? Cavill's never fully committed. He hates you, and he wants to kill you, but he doesn't want you to have him in his sights. Right. Okay, so Nora has done the hard two, but it doesn't give her arc on Riad. 
Maybe she'll have earned Cavill. I this. Oh man, Wolfaru is gonna have to pull a lot of weight. If Wolfaru ends up one-shotting Whisper, so, I, I think that's what Tony's got to rely on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't see that black market slicer tool. That would have been a piece of heroism. Oh, okay. oh okay. he, was, he was trying to put all guns on on Riot. That's not bad. He's about to eat some damage from. Did you do a front? Yes, he did. Yeah. Which is good. So he should be well protected. Oh. And Whisper, unfortunately, is able to come in from behind and do this nasty Whisper stuff. Is Bill Roll get him out, though? Of uh, Nora's arc? I think Who so. Who did Nora target lock? He was just evading. Wow. No, Nora, Nora target lock, so. Uh, Whisper, right? I don't know. I didn't see it. I'm assuming that red lock next to Whisper is Nora. The Christmas locks belong to Tim. Those are Whisper's but, locks. Yeah, I'm assuming the spirally one. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's pretty daring of Tim. I, I believe a, a rear arc from an expertise Nora. Interesting. So he's, he's shooting the freelancer here. Oh, to make sure he gets the focus. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, just enough. Oh, does he have any evade? Did he take the evade token? No, nope, oh but he rolled Lord. one. So it's one grit. Oh, he barrel rolled? Uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he barrel rolled. Oh, uh, because yeah. I was going to say, if he denied that focus token, that would be such a god roll. Yeah. 5e1. Major hull breach in the usual hilarious position where it comes when it's in your last hull. Uh, Whisper gets all the stuff. Oh, no. that, that, that could have been so big. Okay, here comes the hero shot from Nora. No, he's going to leave us in suspense and shoot Wolf first. Oh, no, Cavill shoots first, right. Which is actually bad, because Cavill will shoot, blow <clears throat> Wolf's shields off, and then Wolf gets an extra attack die. Yeah. Yep. Overclock. Dim overclock. Overclock. Dim overclock. No. Okay. Wow. This Wolfer is really tanky. Uh, reinforce. He's fine, I think. Yep. So that was good long-term thinking, putting Cavill there by, on Tim's part. He can circle along, around behind the Wookiee now. I, I still can't get over how crazy that could have been if that freelancer had evaded the, the, the two out of five. Because then we'd, we'd be dealing with a completely different situation here. Here it comes. Callus, here it comes. You. Nora on Whisper this for all big. the money. He's rolling. He's rolling hard. Yep. That's not terror. Uh, he needs like, what, three blanks? Yep, so he just spends the lock here. But he needs three blanks to deal damage. It'll be hit, crit, crit. I don't know what he's thinking about. Use Nora's ability, spend the lock, Tony. Right. And Whisper just rolls godlike. Under Riad. Oh, don't shoot Riyad. Yeah, I think that's a mistake. I think Tony should take the shot on Cavill while he's got. Oh, this is range one. Then shoot Riyad. And again, oh, no. he can't use Finn because he can't reroll. There oh. you go. Why can't he use Finn? Is he in range two? Range two. So, I mean, he can use Finn, but he can't get the reroll from Lone Wolf, so it's pointless. Uh. So Riot doesn't have Lone Wolf either. He's gonna take the shield. Yeah. It's getting to that point where I suppose he doesn't want to take the additional shot from the the Mist Hunter. Well, he he has to make sure he kills his Mist Hunter. He has to. Can't afford any whips. Like if he rolls triple eyeballs or something like that. Uh, yeah, that was close. And that's a dead Mist Hunter. 
Okay. Yep. Boom, boom. Wow. Only 20 minutes left in the game. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. How many points was that? Not so ruthless freelancer. <laughs> 30. Same cost as Cavill. I mean, the trouble with this position uh, is now Tim is free and clear to do what he wants with Whisper. I just go for Final Salve with Fun Tony. Well, he can. He's a ship dead. Kill Cavill and then right. go for Final Salve. Yeah, actually, I think that's a good call here. Because you're not going to kill Riyadh. Well, you might kill Riyadh, but like. It's going to be hard. It'll be hard. Especially with that thing K turning and denying shots on, on Wolf. You're not going to kill Whisper unless something disastrous happens. I think you just kill that freaking Y Wing and you uh, regen and reinforce to preserve your ships and. You're still at disadvantage. What are you rolling? Five versus uh, six? But. Yep. No. Five versus seven. Five versus seven, yeah. Nah. Um, yeah. You can't do that. What? Math? No, I mean, five versus seven is, is terrible odds. Now, mind you, anytime I've ever done a final salvo, I it's lose. Better. Five versus seven is better odds than killing Countess with, yeah. with an Oztuck and. And uh, Nora. Well, he's got to lose some shields from that wolf. No, but I, I don't think Tony, I don't think Tim's gonna give it to him. Yeah, you might be right. Tim's just gonna be like, okay, I'm just gonna keep shooting Nora while Riyadh runs away. Mm -hmm. But then he also probably doesn't want to go to Final Salvo either, so he can't afford to lose Cavalry. I don't think he's in a position where he's terribly worried about that right now. With the shields or losing Cavalry? Losing Cavalry. I mean. Uh, Wolf could turn behind him? I don't know, man. Nora and Wolf are pretty much both four attack ships. Yeah, one bad round for Cavill. He's in trouble. Yeah, Cavill can die easily in two rounds. Like, granted, the last round wasn't really the best demonstration of that, but with Cavill only losing one shield. Oh, man. I'm still so giddy about that, k <laughs> I'm calling a one straight for Nora here. I think that's the move. Now, Tim f smells blood in the water. He might go for a barrel roll here. Really? Yeah, I think I it would be a mistake. I wouldn't I, risk it. Yeah, Wolfrew was coming in hot. Yep. See, babe. See, he's thinking about it. Oh, no. Just focus, Tim. Just focus. Tim, if you lose Riyadh, you lose the game. You lose our respect. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. Ah, yes, there good. We go. Good. All right. It's an interesting choice. What is the team bank? Yeah, I was thinking he'd either hard to, so Wolf couldn't get on him. Uh, I don't think Wolf can. I think or Wolf do his straight back in. I think if I were Tony, I might turn Wolf out. What is. Okay. It's not a bad. That is, that is going to be a sad Nora. Uh -oh. Yep. Taking the lock. <laughs> Yeah, he, dare he, it all. He realizes that his only shot is about to be a range three lone wolf token stack riad. And here comes Wolf. Uh, at least he has this. Okay, okay, okay. So Tony has a shot. Yep. Tony's gonna throw it all at Riad. He just needs uh, he needs his ice to go his way here. And Riad might take some damage. And if Wolf's shooting first, a crit could slip through. Had he, done the, the the, had he done the one straight with Nora, though, he, he might have blocked Whisper. I think so, too. I think, yeah. And here, unfortunately, it's just a five-dice monster up yeah. Nora's butt. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to hurt. And I think Cavill might have Nora out of art, which is going to make things even worse. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
That is not going to be a good turn. Oh, yeah, he's got the target lock in addition to the focus. Man, if I'm Tony, I start target locking with that uh, wolf. He can't. They don't have target lock. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> I, have, I have fly rebels all the time. So. He does. Okay. I think I would have done that, too. Oh, absolutely. There's no point making any risky plays right now. Tim's got this uh, pretty firm control. So everything's going into Nora on Tim's side. And everything's going into Riot on Tony's side. So he's got Callus here, so this is actually uh, this might sting a bit. Somewhat Ooh, modern shot. That might sting at all. Just two. Blanco. Let's start off. The next one will hurt a lot more. Let's focus. Oh man. Tony shots. Okay, so let's oh, say, sorry. let's say, in this situation. Hypothetically, Wolfaru didn't have shields and had Lone Wolf. Would you shoot Whisper? If uh, Nora wasn't there screwing up the, yeah. the Lone Wolf? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'd yeah, I would, right? You go for the home run. Yep. So, Cavill, you can spend the lot. Cavill's. Yep. Oh, darn. I think this may have turned the game. Oh. You just had to say it, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, so he overclocked. She rolls one of A. But how did he reestablish a target lock? Wouldn't it be reestablish a focus? Uh, he didn't reestablish a lock, I don't think. He did. He put it back down. He spent the target lock, spent the focus. Or something. I, don't, I actually don't know what's going on. I think he, I think he thinks it's R for Agromech. Look, right? Like, overclock should give him a focus. Yeah, you're right. Do you want to go tell him? That. So lazy, but fine. Okay. Alan Fung is going to her go heroically interfere in the game. And so here we are, folks. 12 minutes remaining, 13 minutes or so. And Tony has to come back by a ship. So he is shooting with. Oh, seems things have paused. Wolfaru is shooting at Riot. He's put the extra red down for Finn, but again, he won't get to use it because he can't reroll. Not bad. Hit crit. Who's shooting? Not great. Wolf on Riot. That's not enough. No, that's not enough. Triple blanks. No. No. Spends the focus. She's going to spend, spend the focus, Tim. Okay. Tim's getting greedy. Oh, he's looking for Lone Wolf. Oh, he doesn't need it. Does he? Oh, I oh, don't think Lord. so. Uh, oh no. Yeah, no yeah, I don't think he had it anyway. Or he's in. Okay, so yeah, he has to spend the focus. Yeah. He doesn't want to deal with the crit. No. Shoot back. So normally took two damage from all of that. Yes. Um, and Nora might just get lucky here. Get one crit onto Riad. Could swing the game in Tony's favor. Doesn't look like it. So it's hit crit, that's all. Oh! Whoa! Oh Whoa. no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Ouch. It's fine. It's just gonna be something useless. Is that damaged engine? I think so. I can't tell, but that table got awfully quiet. Damaged engine. Whatever, just. Keep K turning. Who yeah, cares? it's a it's a defender. It's Riyadh. <laughs> K turn. Yeah. No, seriously, I do a three K next turn. I think it forfeits. Are we gonna play this game again? Yeah. Didn't I win last night? Just do a three to be safe. <laughs> uh, and who's this now? Oh, it's Riyadh, of course. It fins. He has to focus and reinforce, so he needs to blank out. Yeah. Uh, he does not. Oh, he would not Don't spend it, Tony. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. 
Okay, so Cavill has to do one straight. Interesting. Yeah. I don't see how Tony can do this. You don't think so? I mean, it's possible, but it's it's difficult for him, right? Um, he's got to... I, he's I'm not sure I entirely agree, because... You're if, Wolfrey, right. if Wolfrey somehow, if, if I'm Wolfrey, I would do, I do a one straight, right? Hope, hope for a bump into the Riyadh. Next turn, what the hell does Riyadh do? She might have to do like something like a one bank barrel roll back, not, just not to have Wolfrey in his arc. You don't think a 4K gets her beyond Wolf? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, would. But either way, I, I think I think that is a bit of a game changer, that damage engine. Because Riyadh's options are much more limited. She's it's gonna be harder for her to stay out of two arcs. Good point. If I'm him, I just if I'm him I get Riyadh out of there ASAP. I would actually three hard up. And take the stress? Oh fuck. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, he can't do that. Just kidding, guys. Um, <laughs> i just do a three straight up then or something. Yeah, that's a good point. Right? Heck, four straight. And then the next turn, just get out of dodge. Even if Wolfru has shots on you, that's fine. Just you can't afford to have Nora and Wolf have arcs on you again. Because two arcs are two arcs. They shed tokens. I definitely would have taken that damage, though, on uh, Wolferu. Yeah. But maybe he's scared that Wolferu will just burn when he, when he starts taking damage. I, I, maybe he's going for the Riyadh game right now. <laughs> I'm yeah. not sure if either player is aware how little time is left. Maybe we should go tell him. We're at eight minutes. I really should have taken the seat, like, closer to the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you mean you could sit more comfortably back here? No, this is by my design, my friend. My, my design. <clears throat> Okay, folks, so money down. Here we go. So I mentioned earlier, uh, if any of you are interested, uh, the Mercs format does work for a tourney. The only difference is that at the beginning of the day, when you show up for your small tourney, you have a list of 20 Mercs available. Everybody has 77 points of Rebel or Imperial. And then you roll randomly to determine who has first pick, and then it's a draft system from there on in. So try that out if you're inclined. That's the Mercs format. We've had a lot of fun in a couple of local tournaments doing that a couple of times. What are we talking about? Uh, the Mercs format. What about it? Uh, just that we've done it. It's been fun. Propaganda. Yes. More propos. So, were those guys surprised to learn how little time they had left? Uh, no. They both just said okay. Okay. What do you think? Could Tony go all out and just try to catch Cavill and kill him with both of those ships? Cavill's an easier catch. I'll just, I just, I, th I think it's not that obvious. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I completely agree. I, I think if, I think if Nora does a three bank or something, three bank uh, left, mm -hmm. Wolfru does like a two hard, mm -hmm. that guarantees your fin lone wolf right there. Assume that Countess is running. Mm -hmm. That's what I, if, if I'm Tony, that's what I do right now. I don't worry about Whisper. Even though Whisper is probably going to chew up Nora in like two turns. Sorry, by three bank, I mean a green maneuver to regen. Right. Maybe even a one bank. Well, she could do a, a four straight to regen the shield. She could, but then... She's in that corner and it's bad. It kind of, it really depends where that cavil is going. Like, neither ship has repositioning, which is really awkward. Yep. You mean the way it used to be long ago? Back in the day. Ships without repositioning. Yeah, but then then it just comes down to chance. Well, right. maneuvers. Yeah, but sometimes you might not outguess your opponent. It's just like, oh, I happen to be. Yeah, sometimes out of your you're just arc. lucky. Whoa! Uh, Looks like this fit. I think I'm okay with that. That's a great call, actually. Well, not so much for next round, but they know they're almost out of time. 
And Tim does another decloak out of sequence. Good thing Tony's so gracious. That's actually some excellent sportsmanship on the part of Tony. Yeah, I, I, in Tim's offense, like, there was no movement for that ship, kind yeah. of. I mean... Too straight. He's hoping to block Nora. Maybe hoping Nora is doing a two bank or one straight or something. Nora does a one bank. Ooh. Oh, sorry, that was Wolf. Uh, I think he does he not check to see that clears. I think you clear that, guys. Uh, I wish we had a judge up for that table. Oh well. I think they're just trying to get through the rounds right now. Yeah. Tony's trying to... Man, oh, no. Three. There is the three straight. But it's not giving a mark. Well, it's giving a mark on Riot. Oh, no. I think that was the turn to lock. Uh, yeah, this fella. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Whispers on the debris. Yep. Was Holy smoke. Okay, whole new that game. Was definitely the turn to lock. Whole new game. Look at that. Wolf this is sitting there. He gets to feed himself a focus token. Range one on Whisper. Nora's got a range two. That was definitely the turn to lock uh, Whisper. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, you couldn't predict predicted that, but no. I still think you, especially on a turn where you only have one ship, right? One ship shooting at that Riyadh. Mm -hmm. like, what do you. I guess he's hoping for triple blanks, and he's hoping for, you know, two hits, and then add the crit. Yeah. I guess that's, yeah, which is fine. Not even two hits, two, two eyeballs or something. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's go. Oh, I guess Whisper's not on the debris? I guess not. Okay. That's huge. It is. I was very excited. Uh, the game was going to swing. And that's probably not what he wanted. But he's got the target lock on her now. Callus. Ouch. Hit, hit, oh dear. And the crit is. Looks like damage sensor array. Brutal. Sink turret shot. Range one. Cavill doesn't get his bonus die, but he can reroll. Overclocked? He didn't. That's a dead Nora. You're right. That's game, folks. It is. Now note that Tim has not thrown down his cloak token next to Whisper, nor taken his focus. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> You're so lucky this is a more casual thing, otherwise you'd be hating yourself right now. Yeah. Tony doesn't even notice. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, this is a casual environment. They're doing as they do. Oh, and that's just a terrible roll for Tony. What happened? A uh, blank and an eyeball. Hey, he should have target locked. Didn't he? No, 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 no they don't no, have target no, locks. Right. Yeah. Jesus, we just went over this, Aaron. Right, right. I just got better. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's fine. Oh. So 
I'll bet you a dollar that Tim wins. <laughs> I'll take that bet. Eric, could you do us a big favor and let, it, let them know there's only 20 seconds remaining? Could you let them know there's only... Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Eric. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, I see. It's a shot from Wolf. Oh! You can get Whisper because Tim forgot. Oh, my Lord. And Lone Wolf he has Lone Wolf. He has Lone Wolf. He has Lone Wolf as well. Oh. Whispers lost her shields. Because he forgot to cloak. <laughs> well, folks, we've seen... Didn't he also forget to fin? No, there are five dice there, so he must have... No, range one. No, but I mean... Sorry. Oh, the fin reroll is gray. One more round? Okay. I want to play one more. Tim wants to lose, I guess. No, I'm kidding. There's no, there's no way he can, unless he, unless he hits that debris, rolls a crit. Okay, let's, because Tim is going to win this game, let's think of ways that he could possibly lose this game. Okay. So, could Cavill make it to the board edge with a four straight? Yes. Okay, so Cavill does a four straight. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Whisper gets shot at. Just as a two straight, doesn't cloak, nothing. Yeah, we need we need a crit from that debris uh -huh. on Riyadh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's what we need. Oh. I guess that's the end. What's happening? Oh, there's just pre-shaking. Okay, okay. Is that so, a thing, pre-shaking? Yeah, I do that. Oh, I yeah. do that. I did that at Rochester. I was like, I said that to Josh Keys. Josh, if you're watching this, that was an awesome game, man. I still remember that. But um, yeah, I'm like, you know, no matter what happens this round, you know. I see. Okay. Oh, oh man. <laughs> what is he? He's just dead. He's just dead. <laughs> uh, well, he didn't do the four straight, so he didn't fully commit. So it doesn't matter. Go, Wolf, go. He just needs an upgrade that'll allow him to shoot three ships simultaneously. Um, is there one like that? No. It's the max two, yeah, right? There's no possible way to get a third shot. Mm -hmm. Well, folks. Oh, wait. Unless you're Kanan. Or oh, yeah. if you're a ghost. Aren't you shooting four TLT shots? You are, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, four, anyway. four volleys. Yeah, you have to shoot the same ship. I'm just bullshitting. Go ahead, please. Uh, thanks for so much for tuning in this week, folks. Uh, we'll be bringing you more Top 8 from the PTL Season 10. Uh, and you can check in with us. We should have them up on the web soon. Uh, no matter how this game ends, this has been an interesting match. You make it... You're going to make it really awkward when they watch the next video and it's our voices again. <laughs> you sounding just as sick and be like, wait a second. They yes. said it would be a week later. <laughs> You're just feeding them lies, Aaron. And I won't stand for it. I'm, I'm helping them understand the pattern. It's the pattern <laughs> that I figure out. You understand the conspiracy. Wow, yeah, well, he came through and whisper. Wow. Yeah, he did. No, I, props to Tim. You know, he's uh, going out with a bang. Mm-hmm. Well, he can't lose. I mean, anything's possible. Zoom. Three for Whisper. I guess, oh, he wants a points, I guess. Points don't matter. For uh, rankings, no? Not Again. really. I suppose you're right, you're right. They do matter for distinguishing between since we, third and since we do Since we do top four podiums. Yeah. Huh. Which I don't get. Top yeah. four podiums shouldn't have anything. Ah, yeah, whatever. Different debate for a different time. Yeah. We have so many available. We could talk about him, for instance. All right, guys. Well, I here it think. is. The heroic shot. Can he kill Whisper? Oh, no. It's a defense roll. Uh, will we see a five die shot? It's not bad. What is he shooting at? I'm oh. not sure. I guess he wants Riyadh. Focus for three. Uh, shoot, Whisper at this point. How did... And that's the end. Yeah, I would have shot Whisper. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. No, it does not. And Tim Rouse will continue on. Congrats uh, to Tim. And to Tony for making it to the top eight and flying so well and being so gracious and allowing his opponent so many decloaks. Yeah, we, we will chirp Tim endlessly yeah. for you. Uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah.